Hi guys, uh, my name is Maliki McGarrigal. I am an architect and lecturer in the construction department and today I'm going to show you a very short introductory video on how to use the Celebri model viewing package. It is a BIM uh, software package which allows the design team and consultants to check for clashes and structural models, architectural, etc. First of all, I'm going to just click on this file that I have here, which is actually the Celebri, the building that comes bundled with the software. I already have it open, so I'm just going to open up the interface, and you can see right away that we've got various boxes on the left, and we've got a model of a building, which is the important bit, on the right. Um, very quickly, I'll just show you some basic navigation. So if you want to zoom in, if your mouse has a scroll wheel, you just scroll in and out and you can uh, zoom in or zoom out on the building. If you want to uh, rotate the building, you just left click and it will rotate the building around the point of the building in which you click. So if I click on this column, rotates around that. If I click on the corner at the top, it rotates around that. And same for most other places. If you want to pan the building, like moving a sheet of paper on a table, just press down your scroll wheel and then you can just keep it held down and you can move the building around on the digital window. Um, there's various things up here which I would not get you to change just yet until we know that we can actually work this software reasonably well. Um, the other thing I'd like to get you to look at really is the different views we can see. Up here there's, uh, you can show selected elements and if you have selected elements there's ways of showing unselected in a ghosted image so let me show you that uh, just now. If we go to the left, we can see that we've got SMC building, which stands for Celebri Model Checking Building. There's a number of ways of looking at it. You can see here containment hierarchy. You've got uh, component hierarchy and layers. And really what they talk about, if we look at the first one, it's really looking at the building by floors. If I want to look at the ground floor elements, I just click and basically go equals. You can then look at all the elements that have been drawn on that floor. And the green boxes are actually spaces which some software packages include automatically when you create walls and slabs. You might say, well, how can I get rid of these green boxes? Well. If we look at the ground floor we've just chosen, there is a little black triangle beside it. And if we click that, you can see it breaks it down into a number of elements. So if I click space and go minus, the spaces disappear. If you want to get rid of things, you can click a slab, you can go minus. Um, if you're not sure what an element is, you can just look at it and say ceiling, Suspended ceiling, so I'll just go OK minus. And that lets me look around and I am missing my floor, so I might put my slab back in again. All I do is highlight it in this window and go plus. And by doing plus and minus, you can build up a view of the building that you want to see. So for instance, if I was to collapse the ground floor and say, OK, I want to see the roof as well, I just go plus. And you can say, ah, okay, there is the building. Uh, I wish I knew what was happening in between. So you can go up above and look at where it says show unselected transparent. And if you click that, you get a kind of a ghosted image of the building that we can rotate around. And the elements that you have selected are bold and bright, but the other ones are kind of faded. Um, if you want to get the view back to where you opened it up, you can just click this 
brown box here on the right, show all. And if you want to get the view back, I think you can just click this one and it'll jump back to a preset view, which you can set from top, front, left, right, back. But in the first couple of practices that you have with the software, my advice would be just to try and rotate, navigate, go to the left window and see the difference between the component hierarchy, which is this one, and we'll just try opening up various uh, selections in this window to see the difference. So I'm just going to pick the column and go equals. And then to add on things, I'll add the railings. I'll go plus. Um, if I want to see toilet fixtures, I'll go plus. If I want to see some floors, I'll go slab plus. And you can then build up this building in an order and a sequence that helps you to understand the uh, way the elements go together. If you click on something, this info box down below, which we can explore in a later video, just tells you how that element was modeled in the original authoring software, which here we can see is ArchieCAD, but it could have been done in Revit or some other one like Vectorworks. To finish off, I'll just show you the last one, which is layer hierarchy. And some authoring packages like ArchieCAD use layers. And you can go in here, and if the model has been set up uh, with layers labeled correctly in terms of studs, uh, flat slabs, beams, you can just select the elements you want to see. External walls, if I say internal walls, go equals. And if I then decide to just rotate around that and say add some slabs, you can see the building is starting to shape up. Um, if I go in to put suspended ceilings in, you can see the suspended ceilings have appeared in certain parts of the building. If you want to go back to the original viewpoint, click here. If you want to see what that selection set looks like in context, just press the show unselected. And as before, you're getting a ghosted image of the rest of the building. If you want to just see what you've selected, just go to this one. Um, and if you want to add more elements, just go to the left, click the one you wish to add and go plus. So that's a very basic introductory uh, tutorial, if you like, to this software package. If you practice it and read the little quick start guide that I have given you, um, hopefully you will not take very long before you're comfortable and enjoying using the package. That's all for me at the moment. Thank you very much.